Hello, dear viewers of YouTube. My name is Mathieu Fanat. They call me Mathieu Fanat. As of the last few months, I've been going through turbulent times. As of the last year, I've been going through turbulent times, actually. But the last two or three months have demonstrated a significant difference in the turbulence. I've dealt and deal, to my mind mostly dealt, with a condition called schizophrenia. It is a subset of psychosis, which is a mental health issue that plagues your mind with negativity and serves to make it be befitted to nefarious evil within your thoughts that aren't actually your thoughts, but that can sometimes be inserted in your thoughts and sometimes they're outside of them. And it is meant to guide you in the wrong direction. This is my general take on it. Now, I've been having a lot of thoughts about this because my belief for the last two months or so is that we don't completely, but we mostly live a liar. Like if it was... How do I put it? If it was revealed to me that the life we live in present time is based on past fabric, meaning not everything in the history books happened the way we think it did, then I would be like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. You know, if a lot of things were recreated in our past life, then I think that makes perfect sense. But at the same time, I correlate the presence to reality like everyone does. And the presence says that the history books did exist, do exist for a reason, and that the history did exist. And, uh, and that what this amounts to is a view upon humanity that is kind lately that grows less kind as you move backwards but it ultimately always has a general point made which is that it is fascinating but it is based on a natural evolution of events now the reason I started going into this is because, well, I believe my mental health, despite my, my experience being the truth, has mostly been a fucking lie. I don't believe I actually naturally grew this condition at all. And uh, the truth is, is that the reason as to why I think this is because, well, the mind's abbreviation, the mind's consensus on itself works to its ego, its personality. And the personality that a person inhibits and represents and feels and knows has heavy correlation to your mind's health, yes, but to your mind's, to your mind's reality means if you deal with a mental health condition that separates your personality and interjects it into a part of you and then has this other part of you be not you, then you could technically argue that that is fake to a degree because the mind's inherent wisdom doesn't match that at all. So... Let's be real. To my hands, my schizophrenia, like, like the experience has been real again, as in the, 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 the somewhat even trauma, the pain I've gone through for the last year. But the reality of that pain having a deeper meaning in the sense that it always, always, always leads to 
to an answer that often isn't an answer I'm comfortable with. It always is an answer that seems to pertain to a deeper problem, to a deeper issue. That's never happened to me with my schizophrenia before. There was almost no, if not none, in terms of logical desertion or logical reasoning or so on. It just existed. Now it feels like that existence actually affects my body. It affects my mind and it affects my heart for things. It affects my emotions. But it doesn't feel like the typical mental health conundrum. And that's what fucks me. That's what fucks me up. And the reality is, is that I feel like every single thing I've ever done has been for one purpose and one purpose only. It has been to free myself of my shackles, ultimately, and become a better person. And this has been by far the biggest step. And the biggest challenge as a direct result in terms of getting that done. And uh, the way my mental health has worked hasn't really been naturally stemmed again. It has been grown within my mind. Uh, through the logical pasture. Of what was meant to affect me on a deeper planetary scale is what I think. So basically, let's see, let's say that for a long time planets have either been created for infiltrated purposes or have simply been infiltrated. And what infiltrated would mean in this instance, it means having be take taking control of a systemic environment. If you assume that our environment was taken control of through the systemic lens, you could then therefore come to the, to the assumption that if someone is to grow, to have some kinds of very, very, very minor connection to deeper realm, or telepathy or something. Like it would be telepathy in this instance. But very light. But just enough. So that. The mental can be excarberated in different directions. And that. That right there. Is the proof. If you think of that as being logical and reasoned. It is the proof that we could be affected by something else. Because I want you to think about the mind itself. The mind works on its inner workings. But yet it's outside results. But if you assume that the mind has a bigger space. Than it's inside. If you assume that. It deeply connects to the planet. Or to an environment around you. Then you can assume a lot of things. And again one of those is partial telepathy. I want to, in a way, I want to name this video something like that. Like we, we all struggle because of our partial telepathy, or most of us, but I think all makes it the point more deep, more clear. And uh, the truth of the matter is, I'm kind of of the belief at this point that there's been fucking... Hundreds of thousands to millions of planets out there. Probably in the 100k range. And uh, they've all been driven to different directions by outside influence. And beyond affecting the mental directly, affecting the consensus indirectly. The consensus of the planet, the consensus of people can do that as well. It can 
create a difference in 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 a, a planet and people's natural world line quite significantly. We all assume that our Earth is is naturally born, which it is in its history, and it potentially is in its literal sense as well. Probably, definitely is in its literal sense. Which means that the foundation would be laid down and then the truth would come to be about what what the history of the earth is and so on. Which is an interesting concept to consider that some things may be falsified, but nevertheless. Now, I want to go into something significant in terms of this, which is my experience and an update on what my experience has amounted to within my own mind. I'm not hearing anything right now. Ten minutes ago, I was hearing, I was hearing provocating taunts that did not tell me to kill myself, but that mocked my speech, even though I'm a very good speaker down. And uh, those provocating thoughts serve to make me consider the uncanny, yet the realistic in my mind, which would be to entertain this idea. But maybe the idea is not meant to be entertained. I believe that we as people have the final say on our brain's matter. We have the final say on the control of our mind in nearly every way. If we have a conscious thought that serves to be able to reason, then we have control of our minds in that general sense. And if you can that wrap, if you can then wrap that conscious thought around you, then you have control of your mind in the literal sense, in the, in the utmost sense. Now, I want to make something clear. I love all of you, but I haven't loved myself. And it hasn't been because of my actions. It's been because of my thinking, my thinking mind. And the fact that I have some kind of issue maybe where somehow I can hear music in my head that I'm not even listening to through earphones. Somehow my memory can grow incredibly redundant and muted massively quickly. And somehow even my logical cognition can fall into dismay. And what I'm left wondering and noticing is that all of this has happened and has started happening three months and a half after I reverse engineered schizophrenia. Schizophrenia being the condition in my mind that has served to at first not be friendly to me. Then it started being more friendly, a bit argumentative to me. Then I defeated those arguments using my words and then it went away for three months and a half. And then it came back with a vengeance. It put me through a massive psychotic trip that was meant to make me think I was a psychic. And then you notice the partial telepathy thing. And then it, it diverted from that, but then it came back to that, then it diverted, then it came back. And overall it created a consensus in my mind that that is absolutely and wholly what I was, a psychic. And now I see that story as bullshit, that a lot of aspects of it still ring true. I want to bring a point forward. Sorry if I skipped anything, by the way. If our mind is to wander into its truth, and it's true in this instance, would be its ultimatum, would be its reason for being. You have broken through the system of which you were meant to be accustomed to. But the planets that are created, I believe through natural fabric, yes, but through mostly a fabrication of time, 
itself, I want to bring attention to what I just said and how that correlates to how a systemic creation of a planetary system could lead to a major change and differences long term in the intended result of those planets and in the intended result of people themselves within those planets. Because if you assume, because to me, like a third of people deal with mental health, which is more like half considering like the narcissism and shit like that out there. It's kind of, it's kind of blasphemous. Half, half of people deal with mental health issues. It's kind of fucking blasphemous. To me, but it is the truth. And uh, the fact of the matter is. I find that the planetary system is to be broken down into pieces and summed up with one thing. That is people, that is the environment, that is life. But it can be summed up to one thing and that would be a result. If you assume us to be through a macabre lens, especially as of the latest recent times, and if you assume that macabre lens to decide, hey, one planet has this many good people, one planet has this many good people from a moral perspective, then you've ultimately created a dichotomy between independence and reality. And the truth of the matter is, is that this dichotomy is meant to be poor in stature and is meant to kill the soul long term. But my thinking is that if you assume that we are fabricated as people, then this is the reality that comes to light. Which is that our fabrication is led for a reason and is, exists for a reason. And that reason is to manipulate and control us. And to what ends? I'm not certain. But the epitome, the epitome, the ultimate intended result of our planetary system is very simply one thing. It is to give us life to then give us death. Anyways, I just wanted to say that, all that, (laughs) about a reality which I love, but a reality which I'd hope would be different. And uh, yeah, I love you. Thank you for watching my stupid video, or pretty good video, but you know, on my mental health. On my reality being uh, the conundrum of what my truth is compared to what my lie is, what my lies are, and uh, the culmination and the correlation between that and the planet we live on and the planets we may have lived on in the past. Thank you. Goodbye.